YouTube, it's Thea, and I'm back for another unboxing. So I am here with my May Blue Spider Books paperback bookshelf unboxing. You will notice that we are in a new filming location. My bookshelves are a mess, so I decided to change things up a little bit. Um, don't know if I'm going to continue this. I like having my bookshelves um, behind me, but the lighting is better in this room, so we shall see. But if you don't know, Blue Spider Books is a monthly subscription service that focuses around a theme of a book and then there's always um, some type of treat to go along with it, some type of drink to go along with it, a scented item, and then a little bonus item. Um, I have unboxings for every other month on my channel, which I will link down below as well. And um, this was a six month subscription that I got as my Christmas gift from my boyfriend's um, sister, so this is not sponsored. Um, but I've been really enjoying the subscription service. It's a lot of fun. Um, and I don't remember what the theme was for me. I think it was like Polish dark fantasy, I think. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, but when you open it, it always has Let's Be Social. And then it has the spoiler card, which we're not going to look at. So we're just going to kind of start pulling out some things. Generally, they are always synced to the book, so sometimes they can be spoilers, sometimes not. We'll kind of just play by ear and see how it goes. This here says, Blue Spider Books, Violet-Eyed Sorceress. Ooh, okay. Um, this is a wax melt, which they tend to trade off between wax melts and candles. This is Lilac, Gooseberry, and Strength. It has been melted because it got delivered and has been sitting outside, so it's probably super melted. I don't think I'm gonna be able to open it to smell it, but let's go ahead and try here. Um, I'm not gonna try to open it, but I always talk about how I love their packaging because they do all of their own packaging and it's always really neatly designed and they've got their own labels, but I'm really, really excited to try this one. It smells really, really good. I'm not gonna open it because it's already melted um, and I'm gonna probably have to put it in the fridge for a little bit, but I'm really, really excited to try this wax melt this month. And um, this box is the hot chocolate. So every month is a hot chocolate. You can do coffee or tea. Um, but mine was hot chocolate, so let's see what the hot chocolate is for this month. Traditional hot cocoa, which is nice. It's a nice simple one. We've had a couple different ones. I've gotten um, Mexican hot chocolate as well as salted caramel. Haven't tried either one of them yet because as it's already super hot here, probably won't be drinking them till the winter time. But um, I always love the, per I think it's the perfect portion sizes as well. Um, and they partner with Old Town Spice Shop for our hot chocolate. This sounds really good. Delicious hot cocoa like your grandma used to make. Add three to four tablespoons of hot water or milk for a creamy cup of cocoa. And it always comes with two servings, generally about, depending on how big your mugs are. But I'm really excited to eventually go ahead and try these as well. Okay, and then the next thing I see in here. Ooh, okay. It's a Shroop Waffle Dutch Waffle Caramel. Oh my God, I've been wanting to have one of these. I've been craving one for so long and I haven't had one. I'm really, really excited to eat this. Um, this one again is a little melted because it's been sitting outside. So I'll probably stick it in the fridge for a little bit, but really, really excited to eat this. And you, I really like that you can like just eat them by themselves or you can like dip it in like coffee or tea, but I'm really, really excited to eat this. And then we have come to the book. Um, generally, there's usually a bookmark in here, which is um, a spoiler for the book that you get. So we're not going to look at the bookmark either, but they always come with a paperback bookshelf themed. I'm not going to look at what's on the bookmark because I don't want to be spoiled. So let's go ahead and find out what the book is. Oh, it's like a mass market this month. So I always talk about this every month as well. I love their packaging. It's always in this adorable wrapping paper. And I just love that the thought and effort they put into these boxes and the wrapping is always adorable. So let's go ahead and see what this month's paperback bookshelf book is. With the last wish, Andruk Spofsky? Probably butcher that. Introducing the Witcher. Okay, so I think this is either the book that inspired the game or the game that inspired the books. Um, let's go ahead and see here. Geralt of Rivia is a Witcher. 
a cunning sorcerer, a merciless assassin, and a cold-blooded killer. His sole purpose, to destroy the monsters that plague the world. But not everything monstrous looking is evil, and not everything fair is good. And in every fairy tale, there is a grain of truth. The Last Wish. Oh, the international hit that inspired the video game The Witcher. Okay, so the video game was inspired by this book. Um, okay, I'm really excited. I'm always down for some more fantasy. Um, I know The Witcher is a really popular fantasy series, and so this is really exciting. This is something I wouldn't have picked up on my own and read. So I love dragons. I love fantasy. I've been trying to branch out into more like adult fantasy, so I'm really, really excited to read this. And then let's see what the bookmark says here. People like to invent monsters and monstrosities. Then they seem less monstrous themselves. Ooh, I really like, there's a little wolf on it, which I assume is themed to the book. Um, but I'm really, really excited with this box this month. I think, ooh, I think April is probably still my favorite box, but I really do, um, but I'm really impressed with this month as well. Let's go ahead and look at the card here. Welcome to this month's paperback bookshelf. Inside includes Read, The Last Wish, Introducing the Witcher, Smell, Violet Eyed Sorceress Wax Melts, Snack on a Caramel Shruff, a Swaffle, and Sip Your, and then Sip, a sample of your choice of coffee, tea, or cocoa. Um, it says a bonus item in here, but I don't think there was a bonus item in here. Oh, okay, here's the bonus item. Let's see what it is. I got lost in the crinkle crap, but let's see. It's a really cute packaging. Oh, this is really cute. It's like a little vial. That is really cute. I assume it's themed to the book. Oh, no. A vial of magical calendula to add a touch of creativity and passion to your days. This is really cute. Ooh, okay, this is really, really cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I think I might just use it for like bookstagram or something, but it's really cute as well. Here is everything that has come in May's Blue Spider Books unboxing. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you've read the book or if you played the game, if you like the game, if you're a fan of the Witcher series. Um, I'll link their website down below as well as the playlist for all of my other unboxings. Thank you guys so much. As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe if not already to get notified of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!